everyone. It's Holly O'Neill, president of Retail Banking for Bank of America. We're back with another episode of Game Changers, the show where I speak to leaders from major industries about customer service, business innovation, and financial health. And today we're talking about the consumer experience. I'm at my favorite coffee shop with somebody who keeps me and just about everyone else in America caffeinated and running. So let me introduce you to Scott Murphy, president of Duncan. Scott, you've been with Duncan for 20 years in a variety of leadership positions, and I hear you make a mean caramel latte. <laughs> I do, I do. Thank you for having me. So excited, two great brands coming together. Looking forward to this conversation. That's great. So before we get into it, and before we get into iced versus hot, and how to give customers what they want, I need my favorite hazelnut coffee. So should we grab a coffee first? Let's go make one. All right. Good morning, how can I help you today? Sure, I would love a medium black hazelnut, please. And can I get a medium iced caramel latte? All right. And I'd also love for my boys, because if I go home without a dozen donuts for my boys, I will be in big trouble. A dozen donuts, you can do an assortment, but definitely some of the Fenway specials. All right, perfect. You guys have anything else to do? That's it. That's it. While Janelle is getting us the donuts, I'm noticing a different setup at your counter here with old school donut display, which I love. And then what are these taps? Sure. So um, I'm glad you noticed. This is one of our newly remodeled stores. We've got a couple thousand of these remodeled already. And the first thing you see when you come in is the tap system. So this serves all of our ice beverages at a crisp 38 degrees, wow. which it does two things. One, it's uh, the drinks come out colder, so they last longer in the ice. So you right. have a better experience once you leave the store. The second is the crew members love using these, right? So we like to say our crew members are not baristas, they're right. bartenders. Right. And so they're facing the guest when they get to make the drink. So that's, that's the... Cool. That's right. the tap system. And then obviously you pointed out um, the signature item here, which is the donut case. Right. So we've moved them from the back wall to the front, and now you see them beautifully merchandised. And I would tell you, we've seen a huge lift yeah. in donuts. Yeah. And I would challenge anyone to have their kids come in and see this and not choose one of these donuts. It'd be really hard. And it, they do look tremendous and really delicious. So I'm looking forward to getting those at home. So. Scott, how many cups of coffee do you guys serve a year? So we serve about 2 billion cups of coffee a year. Wow. So we are the market leader in hot drip coffee, in iced coffee. Um, we're obviously a market leader in donuts. Yeah. We sell more donuts than anyone worldwide. So those three items make up a large portion of our sales. Right. No, that's great and exciting. So I'm noticing on one of your boards, to these Dunkin' Refreshers. So I think we're going to talk about this later, about new products, but how long do you test new products? And, and tell me a little bit about the refreshers and why that came to be. Yeah, the refreshers are a, a great new product. They're a refreshing drink. They're a little more in the afternoon. They're very bright and colorful. Yeah, and just like our donuts, they're a very Instagrammable product. Right. So you see a lot of the kids these days taking pictures and posting yeah. about it. Uh, but it's a new platform for us, doing really well with some great flavors and a little bit of caffeine, which is amazing. Um, new products, it probably takes us anywhere from 12 to 18 months to develop new products. Right. Uh, and then we give it, you know, two, three months on the menu board, see what sells, what doesn't right. sell. Sometimes right. things rotate. Sometimes things come back, like pumpkin yeah. in the fall. You know, that's obviously a, always a favorite, but that's generally how the menu works. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. And I, I love the, the coffee bar that you have set up. It looks so modern and current and really inviting. <laughs> it is. And everything about the yeah. new layout is set up for speed. Right. Right? right, so it's got a very uh, efficient back line right. for the crew members. We try to do everything in, in a very standardized process. So a, a small, medium, large always has the same number of pumps of right. flavor in it to make it consistent. The lighting, the flow for the guest, everything is set up to get people in and get them out and get right. them on with their busy day. Right. And of course, we're a big drive-through business. Yeah. So um, that's a big part 
uh, of how the store is laid out as well. Right. And how often are you reconfiguring the flow in your stores and how things operate? I, I'm assuming it's something you're constantly looking at. All, all the time. And ironically, a lot of the innovation comes from our crew members. Right. Right, so they'll make suggestions on where the equipment's laid out. Hey, it would be much more efficient if I went here and then there. So how right. we moved it, the donut case, how we replenish. Yeah. A lot of those ideas come from our crew members because right. they are, they're working it every single right. day. Right, they're working it. They've got to be efficient and fast to get the product out, make the customer happy. Janelle, thank you so much for those dozen donuts. They look delicious. Hopefully they make it home to my boys. I don't know <laughs> if they will, um, but they look great. So Scott, I have to say I have a new appreciation for all that Duncan's teammates do to keep us running, no matter what, at all times. So I have a few questions for you, okay? Duncan has the most loyal customers out there of any brand in existence, especially here in New England. So how important is customer loyalty to you? It's literally job number one. And uh, we do have some incredibly loyal customers when you think about it. We, uh, every year we get rated the most loyal customer base. And you know a lot of it is we just have great products, right? The coffee and the donuts are incredible. Um, but it's really about our service. So Dunkin' is a unique brand. It's sort of in the fabric of people's lives, right? We're sort of locally owned in the community by the franchisees and people grow up with us. And it's a brand that's figured out a way to stay relevant for the last 70 years. And we evolve, we come up with new products. We've got iced coffee, we've got cold brew, we've got avocado toast now, all these new products. And we've found a way to stay involved with people's lives. You, you definitely have. So when you think about that spectrum of donuts to avocado toast, <laughs> which is one of my favorites, by the way, you know, that really has been a modernization of the brand. So it's pretty incredible how you've done that so seamlessly. So how do you reward the loyalty of your customers? Yeah, so um, the first thing we have to do is give them a great experience, right? So we have to make their order right. And if we don't make it right, we gotta make it right. And so that's a big part of it. The second is we have got a new loyalty program, Duncan Rewards, right? And we went out and talked to our loyalty guests and said, what's most important? And we made some changes and relaunched the program last year and we've seen incredible growth. So. People told us they want to be able to order ahead on the phone. They've told us they want to be able to accumulate points and use it um, for other types of things. And they told us they want to be recognized for their loyalty status. And so we've got a boosted tier. So if you come 12 times a month, which I know you do, yes, I do. you get your boosted status and you earn even more points. And we've seen people really appreciate that. Yeah, no, that's great. And that that's one of the similarities, I think, in our brands and of the consumer they definitely want to be rewarded for loyalty. And, you know, at the bank, we have a whole preferred rewards program yep. where we're enabled to do that. So very similar when you compare financial services to donuts, you know, the consumer really wants very similar things. It's the same basic principles. Right. So right. I've been a customer of Bank of yes. America for over probably 30 years. And I remember that first time I used my ATM card I tried to take $2 out and that was not uh, the, the minimum. It didn't work. I was trying to impress my girlfriend at the time. Um, but that's a brand that stayed with me and um, yeah. has seen me through college and business right. school and a job and a marriage and kids. And it's just, just like Duncan, you guys have been there for me. Right, well, thank you for that. Thank you for being a client. And that's exactly our goal, right? Is to start and grow with, with our clients. So what's your personal relationship with Duncan? You've been there 20 years. Yep. I've been at Bank of America 27, so it feels like a very long time. But tell me about your journey. Yeah, so it, uh, on the one hand, it has been a long time. On the other hand, it's, it's gone by really quickly. And I think, as you know, when you love what you do and you love the brand, um, it just goes by quite fast. And I've had a lot of different roles. I started in international. A lot of people don't know. We've got 5,000 Dunkins outside the U.S., I did supply chain. I ran our bakeries that make the donuts. I ran our ice cream factories because we also own Baskin Robbins. Right. Uh, and then I got into operations and the customer piece and marketing. And that's really where um, I've started to enjoy. And I've started to enjoy seeing how it all fits together for that guest. Right. 
Well, you've done a lot in that time frame, and the consumers changed a lot in that time frame. So it creates this energy and change and challenge along the way. This year, you ran your first ever Super Bowl campaign starring our hometown hero, Ben Affleck. And by the way, it was my favorite, my family's favorite. I thought it was fantastic. So let's watch a quick clip of that, and then I have a question. Welcome to Dunkin' and New Special. Dunkin' Run, medium or large coffee, get a donut for an incremental dollar. Well, well, like, how can it be this inexpensive and well, good? Cream, no sugar. I'm just gonna have to just give you 10 munchkins. You look a little lost. One second, I'm trying to find the bagels. Do I look familiar? Oh. Should I be in it or do you want I just want this you. self portrait? What are you doing here? Me, if I Is like, this I what don't... you do when you say you're going to work all day? I, I gotta go, guys. Grab me a glaze. So tell me about how that partnership came about and what did your customers say about it? Yeah, so I'll start in reverse. Customers have absolutely yeah. loved it. So Ben has been a super fan of Duncan for the last 20 years since his days in Cambridge. And we've never had a relationship with him. He's just a big fan. He's probably our most right. loyal fan. And we started working with him in December on a commercial and it was actually his idea to do a behind the scenes, kind of have him working the drive through yeah. uh, because he knows a lot about our brand and he knows how to ring things up on the cash register. He knows how they order. So it was his idea um, and it came together incredibly uh, fast. And when we saw it and when JLo came through at the end and said, grab me a glazed, we knew we had captured some uh, something magic. We bought the Super Bowl spot and, um, you know, we we were rated the number one ad during the Super Bowl, which is incredible. Uh, we were the number one searched video on YouTube the day after and we saw huge spikes yeah. in business right after. Yeah, that it's awesome. I mean, it was a fantastic ad. My entire family loved it. And I, I just thought it was tremendous. It was a huge home run. So every year you celebrate National Ice Coffee Day, National Donut Day. So tell me about those events, how you weave it in, how do they influence the customer experience? Yeah, they're special days for us. Um, and they're one day events, but they're ways to give back, right? So we just did National Donut Day. The week before that, we had National Ice Coffee Day where we partnered with our foundation, The Joy in Childhood. We raised almost $2 million to give kids in need, hungry kids, kids in hospitals. Um, and it's a great way to make the consumers feel good about their purchase. And it's in categories that we own. So donuts, hot coffee, iced coffee, and it's a way to just connect with the consumer and keep that brand relevant out there. Right. So you guys also do a really amazing job innovating and trying different things. So introducing new donuts and different combinations. So I think you could do an amazing job at that. So how do you decide on the new flavors, the products to introduce, sitting side by side with the classics, right? The yep. jelly donut, the glazed donut, the the black regular coffee. So how do you how do you decide that? Yeah, it's tricky, but it's one of the favorite parts of the job for a yeah. lot of people. So um, like anything, we start with the consumer and we do a lot of insights work and to understand where the trends are. We go right. visit different cities. We look to our partners internationally to understand that. Um, and then we just test a lot of products. We've got a right. world-class culinary team that comes up with all these things. And some of them, some of them sound like no brainers, uh, like butter pecan or right. hazelnut or caramel. Some of them seem a little out there. Right. Um, I'll be honest. I said no to the avocado toast cause that's felt like a stretch. It was great. And uh, huge success. One of the best products we've launched It attracted a sort of new generation, younger, a little more yes. female. Um, and so we've had a lot of success with that. Duncan, similar to Bank of America, is investing heavily in digital to make the customer experience better, streamline operations. So tell me how these investments are paying off and how it's enhanced the in-person experience in your in your stores. Sure, I mean, digital technology is the wave of the future, whether it's automating things behind the counter, whether it's using AI or data to just predict uh, consumer preferences. Right. We're using it across the board now to make it easier and more fun to run a Dunkin'.
Yeah, so very similar. We have Erica, which is our online personal assistant, which also tries to personalize for the customer and gives them insight. So very similar to what you're trying to do. And, you know, we've had Erica now for about five years and over a billion interactions. Wow. So, so a lot of work on our end to deliver the same. So can you tell me a story about a customer where your team, you were really proud of your team, they went way above and beyond? Ooh, um, sure. We get a million of them, um, as you might imagine. You know, the ones that stick out are when we're asked to cater people's weddings uh, with donuts. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so that happens a lot. We had a uh, last year we had a bride and a groom who met at a Duncan. And so they asked us if they could um, decorate that Duncan and get married, actually have the ceremony in a Duncan in New York. So we did that. Wow. Um, we get emails all the time with people asking for permission to get our logo tattooed uh, on their arm. Um, uh, we generally say yes, but uh, you know I don't give permission. Wow, uh, that's the, a good one. Yeah, yeah. And then we do a lot, like I said, in the community with our foundation, yeah. the Joy in Childhood. So we sponsor yeah. um, rooms in, in hospitals for kids that are getting right. better. We have service dogs. We do a lot of that right. to give back. Those are really incredible stories, the weddings, the tattoos. <laughs> I would not have gone there, um, but that's that's fantastic. I mean, that's where it makes somebody's day and that's really exciting to have a brand that can do that. So Scott, anything else you wanna share with the viewers that you think is important to your strategy or what you're currently thinking? No, I would just say, um, you know, the power of a brand, yeah. right? Duncan, it's it's in the very fabric of America. Right. And we're, uh, like you guys, we're a household name, but a brand that people are sort of looking to win, right. right? We don't take ourselves too seriously, but we're customizing all of our products for our guests. And we're really happy um, with this brand for the future. That's great. Well, it's an incredible brand. America does run on Duncan and, you guys have done a tremendous job. So but before I let you go, I have a rapid fire round, really short questions. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Hot or iced coffee? Uh, hot in the morning when I get up, I come back in the afternoon for an iced latte. All right. Nice combo. Donuts or munchkins? Uh, little known fact, there are 4.3 munchkins in a donut. So you can do that math in oh, your wow. head. So I prefer munchkins because it feels like I'm having more. Less. Well, my teenage boys can crush the box of 25 in about 12 seconds. We do have a box of 50. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to upgrade that. I'll, I'll do, I'll work on that. So favorite Boston sports team. Ooh, um, uh, the Patriots, big Pats yes. fan, big Tom Brady fan. Okay. Excellent and best advice you've ever received? Ooh, um, probably from my dad, who's a Marine. Um, his famous saying to me, and it, it, I used it a lot during COVID, which was keep your head down, but your chin up and just keep a positive mindset, which is very consistent with this brand. And it's how we try to run the business. That's great. Well, the brand is incredibly positive. So he did a really great job. Thank you. Scott, thanks so much for joining us. I learned a ton about how you and your Duncan team deliver for your guests. So thanks so much for joining us. I uh, really appreciate it. It was great to share the Duncan story. I love sharing the Duncan story. And I actually have one last thing to share with you as well. So I hear you're a big hazelnut coffee fan. That I am. So what we have here is some free coffee for a month for all of your local branches uh, and to enjoy some Duncan as we head into the summer season. That is fantastic. Our local teams are gonna love this and it's right in time for student rush season where they're especially busy with new clients coming in to open accounts. So they are going to be so excited about this. Thank Perfect. you very much. Thank you.